A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Facecam Specials Insurgents. So now, let me introduce to you, if you haven't already seen it, Resident Evil 2. This is, in fact, the Resident Evil 2 that you probably have already seen on my channel. If you haven't checked out the six redacted episodes of GWK Season 4, then well, this was the title that was a part of it. And, yeah, I did just get killed the second I crossed through a door and a zombie decided to just freaking take me down once and for all. I guess there's a learning curve here and there. These kind of puzzle games, survival horror, as they're typically known by nowadays, they certainly have a lot of things to work with. And, wow. I mean, there's definitely a lot of good things I can tell about this game so far. Being that, for one, the graphics are definitely made to look like it's something that's so real. And that's... wow. I mean, of course, there are, in fact, four different types of guns that I'd be able to use. I currently only have a pistol and a shotgun to be able to work with, but pretty soon there's going to be some others. And I can tell. The further I keep on playing into the game itself, the more likely I'll be able to find any of these other things out here. So, okay, there's a red herb. And herbs, of course, they have become a trademark in Resident Evil for becoming the main method of healing your health. Anything that can drain your health can be replenished with these healing herbs. If you want to combine them, that's probably alright. The green herbs can be used on their own or combined. The red ones cannot be used on their own. They can only be combined. And I also know that there are blue ones. Blue herbs, I found that they can be used to cure any poisons that could be in you. Well. Okay, it needs, it needs that. Okay. But how am I going to be able to find one? How am I going to be able to find something like that? Okay, maybe I gotta put something into the hard drive right there? Yeah, that's probably what I gotta do. And I guess I could tell at this moment that this is another one of those titles where, okay, I found a battery. Wow. Okay, that's... Well, supposedly that's the detonator for getting into that barricade that is in another part of the building itself, but... Of course, there are all these safes and the like, and I had to look up how to put in the right combinations, which I guess that's something you can hardly ever do on your own, but with some of those padlocks and the like, that's something you could probably find out on your own, but yeah. And I just used some herbs so I'd be able to heal myself for good, and all right then. And so now what I'm going to be able to do here is that Apparently there's an armory in here with another gun nearby. I'm guessing that's the third one I'm going to be able to pick up here. And the fourth one, I don't really know what it's going to be. Hopefully I will find out soon enough. So. Okay, so I currently got Leon Kennedy going around the whole building right here. and Well, I mean, these red ones here. I wish you could use them on your own, but apparently you can't. Alright, so I'm gonna go out now. I noticed that there was one of those liquor things in there, too. I'm kind of scared to go back out there, to be honest. And, well, I'd rather not go in home head over heels entanglement with a little creature like that. Okay, is the liquor nearby? What's that? I don't know if I saw it or whatnot. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh, yes! Get... Go, go, go! Oh my gosh! No! I'm gonna get die! Oh! How did that not kill me? Okay, it looks like I'm gonna go unlock the door. Oh my gosh! Go all the way through! Oh! That was a close one. Oh my gosh. That, that was crazy. A freaking lick. Oh my goodness. No way. That was the same zombie that killed me right back there. I know that it did. Oh my gosh. That was scary. That was freaking... <laughs> Survival horror at its finest in the 2010s. Or now it's the 2020s, but I figured you get the idea. I guess I need a jack for that thing. Okay. 
I'm going to discard some of these items. And one more hit, and I'm going to freaking die. Leon Kennedy will be no more. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to make my way back into, like, I don't know where I'm going to be able to freaking go, but I don't even understand, though. Survival horror is definitely something of the type. I'll be able to conserve ammo and that's how I'm gonna be able to live but if I don't then I'm gonna freaking die I guess that's the big picture about it these survival horror games go oh my gosh oh my how did that not kill me either I fell through the freaking catwalk it was like a wooden board sort of catwalk in a way it's not really the traditional metal ones I fell through that, and I freaking lived. How crazy is that? And where does that e that door over there even take me to anyway? Maybe it takes me somewhere else in the building that I haven't already been into. Okay, so this right here must be the part where that barricade is. Yeah, it looks like it is. So I'm going to put up that detonator to it, and okay. There we go. Looks like I blew out a wall in there, and okay. All right. So, all right. Looks like I found something in here. Okay, it's another one of those little combination puzzles. I'm gonna have to pull out that little notebook that the officer handed me to. That's how I'm gonna be able to. Okay, so it's the one on the right there, on the right page. The third one right there. I'm going to have to tilt it to the corresponding symbols that the notebook showed me. And that's how I'm going to be able to get that large coin out, little medallion thing. Looks like I got it. There we go. I got it. I got a third medallion right there, but I'm not really positive around here, but I'm more than certain that I'm going to be able to open that secret passageway in the the station itself so okay just what am I going to be able to do here oh my gosh another one of those liquors I'm gonna have to get out of there oh crap oh crap is it chasing behind me oh no oh 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 no I die oh no way I freaking died from the liquor again Oh my gosh. Dude, I feel like this is another one of those moments in my life where I freaking get that loud, pent up, and quite ticked off, really, that I just go into rage. Wow. That was insane right there. I don't know where it's going to leave me off it. Oh, okay, so it just leaves me off with the barricade being blown up, and now I have to enter the puzzle again to get the medallion. Okay. So just going with the same symbols. I remember them this time, so let's let's get that medallion out of there. So I'm gonna pop it in. There we go, looks like I got it again. I guess the real problem that I'm gonna have though is crossing the liquors again. They're gonna get me again, I know that for sure. So I'm gonna inch up slowly and see if they oh gosh it still came out of the ceiling oh yes blast a few blasted a few times that should be able to work i hope it does work okay where is it where did it go i also heard that i'm supposed to be able to use a flashbang or some oh crap it just swiped right at me oh no it's gonna kill me again no oh my gosh no! Again! <sighs> wow, I mean, just look at that. This is what makes a game like this a legend. It's moments like those where you come face to face with certain creatures out there that you're not familiar with. And not to mention, all of these pretty nice puzzles, actually. 
like these combinations that you have to enter in. Sometimes you'd have to look up the combinations, like in the safes, for example, but I guess it's totally worth it to be able to cheat sometimes, to be able to find out what kind of codes you need to get. Okay, I'm just going to make a run for it. I'm not going to do anything with the Lakers.